ויסאם ג'ובראן, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Yeah, We are sitting here at the Confederation House in Jerusalem, because in a few minutes you are about to take on stage and to stun everybody with your wonderful wood playing. Thank you. So how did it all start when it comes to the wood? Uh, I, I came to the wood uh, relatively late. I was uh, 25 years old. Um, first of all, I uh, studied the violin as a child. Classical? Classical violin with uh, my first teacher, my father. I was uh, three and a half years old. So it's in the family? Yeah. And then I moved to uh, piano, and the wood is my third uh, instrument. Piano too, amazing, yes. Yes. impressive, also classical. Of course, yeah. So all the Beethoven sonatas and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <laughs> and um, before the wood, I started also to study composition and conduction in uh, my academical uh, study in Moscow. And Berlin. Moscow, USSR. Yes. It was still... Uh, yes. before it was the, the end. It was the end. Before the perestroika and after. So the Oud, I, uh, I began in, in Germany, in Berlin, actually, after I met uh, the Iraqi very famous Oud player, Nasir Shamma. And he uh, challenged me uh, with his um, very virtuous uh, Oud And I thought, uh, really, why I don't uh, think about Oud and uh, as composer, why I don't uh, write uh, compositions for Oud. So in order to do this, I, I started to, uh, to play the Oud uh, and to try to play things. And, uh, you know, as, as a composer, I composed uh, some pieces uh, which uh, only me, could and can play. Huh. So I... So difficult. So that's why I started to play the oud and uh, in order to play my compositions and step by step I became... Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's the best way. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you have accomplished a lot. I mean, uh, you are well known for your compositions. Yeah. You are well known as one of the greatest virtuoso of oud playing. You have established and managed and conducted a, a Jewish Arab youth orchestra? Uh, yeah, not only, but this, this was my Amongst, my, amongst my others? Project, yeah. So you are a busy man. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wissam, if you had to describe your music, I know it's... <laughs> it's a difficult. It's a difficult <laughs> question that, to that ask, question. <laughs> but uh, I have no uh, alternative. Yeah. Um, how would you describe not only your music? How would you describe y your influences, your role models, yeah. your inspirations? Yeah, it's uh, it's um, in, in in one side it's a bad question, but it's ver really very difficult and very um, very important question. Thank uh, you, I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because it's, it's you know, um, the best way to describe music is to play the music. Um, but, um, you know, um, to speak about my music, it's actually more or less Uh, the same as to speak about my identity. Um, it goes hand in hand. M yeah, more or less. Of course, my identity may maybe is not only my music, but um, um, it's difficult to speak about my music specifically without speaking about my identity, which is very complicated, very contrasted, and very open, very um, metamorphosic. It changes all the time, uh, not because I don't know what I want or who I am, but because I believe 
uh, that identity um, is something that we create um, and cre creation means uh, to ask yourself every day who, are, who we are or who am I and what I have to say today for the, for the world. Uh, during music, during uh, writing, during uh, just being. Sounds like a constant search. Um, sometimes it is uh, a kind of search, but sometimes it's not a search. It's just f f find things. Just uh, I cannot say discovery. That Discoveries I you make. I, I, I cannot say that I, I am all the time. Ser uh, I search all the time. Sometimes I just find. So after the difficult question, here comes the easy questions. <laughs> With some. You are a multi-layered musician. So, if you had to choose, of course you don't have to choose, what do you prefer? Performing? Composing? Conducting? Uh, I think, uh, first of all, both, all of them are kind of performing. You cannot be composer without to be performer, even if you don't uh, sit on the stage. You have to be there with your mind when you come Mentally. Yeah, to think about the performer, about the music mm -hmm. in, the, in the... Because, you know, uh, music is not only uh, black signs on, on the paper. Uh, conductor is also performer. Um, but... I think, uh, it, in my case, I don't know how to separate them. Okay. I was they go together. During, yeah, the way uh, I was uh, all, all, mm -hmm. all these things. Uh, your music is being played abroad? The music you compose? More or less, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to performing, do you perform more in Israel or abroad? Abroad. Abroad. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh-huh. Uh, luckily for us, we have the Wood Festival. But you know, um, Israel is a small country also. It's not, uh, it's not a question of, uh, you know, uh, it's not a political question all the time. It's also about... A geographical uh, question. Of course. Yes. Yes. And it's maybe true. cultural. It's true. Yeah. Uh, what can we wish with Sam Juban for the future? Ah... Uh, I, I don't know what, what do you mean with uh, who, who, who should wish for me. I, I, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> what, but what but basically mean? I think, what do you wish yourself uh, when wish it comes to your music, when it comes to your, I don't know. You know, uh, music for me and composition and playing is like uh, illness. You're addicted. Yes, I don't wish, I, don't, I just, I cannot be... Uh, it's your, not, it's, not your, it's your destiny. It's there destiny. is nothing you can do about it. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> if we wish or That's not. That's the feeling? <laughs> wow. Wissam, I, I want to thank you very much for taking the time and to wish you a wonderful performance uh, today. Thank you. And keep spoiling us with your marvelous music. Mm, thank you. Thank Toda you. Shalom. Toda.